I'm going to show you how to make pozole. My way. Pozole is one of the most popular dishes in Mexico. Every region, every state, and every house has their own. There is green pozole, white pozole, and even black pozole. This is the perfect recipe for you that live in a place where it's hard to find the dry peppers or if you don't want to work hard. Pozole is traditionally made with ancho pepper and guajillo pepper. ¿Dónde están los chiles? But you have to boil them, peel them, take the seeds. That's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. When I was living in Alaska, I couldn't find all the ingredients to make pozole. I have to improvise. There is enchilada sauce everywhere. Ingredients. Huh? It's the same. Dried red chili peppers. Huh? Kind of the same. Uh, dried chili peppers. My friend didn't believe me. It was good. Delicious. And trust me, it came out really good. So good. Very close to the tradition, right? In a pot with hot water, I'm adding three pounds of pork. Pork meat in chunks. You wanna keep all the fat. This is a good flavor. Pork butt. A whole head of garlic. Just cut the teeth like that and add it to the pot. Let it cook for about 15 minutes. Season with salt. Tantita sal. Just about. You must have the right? Cuatro. Tantita sal. Pero cada quien. Cada quien, ¿verdad? No, a mí me gusta tantita sal. I like it with just a little bit. It's up to you. Tantita sal. You want to keep the broth clean and get rid of all the. ¿Cómo se llama? Foam. Just keep cleaning. Lower the heat and add bay leaves. I have four in here. One teaspoon of dry oregano. Half teaspoon of pepper flakes. This is gonna give it a little bit of heat. Half teaspoon of cumin. One tablespoon of onion powder. Two tablespoons of chicken powder. This is a 12 ounce can. Add all the enchilada sauce in there. White hominy, maíz blanco, 13 ounce can. Long, long. Cover in a medium heat, let it cook for about 30 minutes. Pozole is ready. For toppings, you can use lettuce or cabbage. Lettuce on top, radish, and the final touch, a squeeze of lime. And then you can just eat it with tostadas or tortilla chips. Are you taking a picture of this or can I eat it?